Good morning, day two. This is the place where I camped. You see, the trail is right here. So, I camped on the path. Had no choice, to be honest. It was good night, very calm, no wind. So, the downside is huge condensation in the tent. Just packing up and moving to a calendar to have a breakfast and maybe use the public toilet to wash. Just typical. If I went 10 minutes along the path, I would have such a spot for campsite, even with a bench. I know I didn't spend on a robbery way more than 24 hours. I'm just starting second day. But so far, I'm very impressed with this trail. It's, it's really beautiful. Actually, immediately when you start. And it's very well waymarked. So I only hope that this trend will continue. What a beautiful morning it is. I couldn't pick the better time for this hike. So happy to be here. So that looks like a decent camping spot, but it's about an hour from the from the place where I camped. I just passed the bridge, which uh, cuts the way and <coughs> reduces the um, the distance you have to walk. Uh, basically, by passing. Uh, calendar but I'm going to the, the town or village anyway because I, I want to have a good breakfast today and it's also a way to support local communities so oh yeah almost missed the turn When I was a kid, we used to do necklaces from the fruits of this tree. So that's me <coughs> entering the calendar. So that's my eighth kilometer today. And good time for a breakfast.
although today's views are great almost all the way it's on it's on a thermal road and here it is Loch Lubnai now I'll continue 8 or 10 kilometers along the loch to reach the town where I hope to have a lunch and then continue to my camping spot which I don't know what it will be good place for lunch or breakfast it's on 42nd kilometer and worth to notice change of the surface while walking along the banks of the lake I noticed many places to come and as far as I know they are not under camping restrictions so if you're planning to wild camp somewhere this may be quite a good place although there is a significant noise from the road on the other side of the lake so something to consider and last view at the loch Now this is really last view at the loch, I think much better. So here we go again, one kilometer to the village. Oh that's cool bridge, almost like San Francisco. Ooh, bouncy. Lunch time. Just reached the top of the hill <coughs> after uh, after the village. Of course, I don't remember the name already. <coughs> anyway, now slow descent to King's House and later to the village. And I hope to sleep today on the campsite. Although I have some doubts because it looks like quite luxurious one and they may not allow tents so <clears throat> fingers crossed if not I'll continue to walk and and camp wild somewhere but the views here are quite impressive of Saruman. And that's King House. Two kilometers to the campsite, I call them, and although they have luxury cabins, 700 per each, they will allow one small single tent yeah so it means that 
that I will come before for 5 p.m. very early for me and it means that I will have proper rest before tomorrow's big day and it's big because it's the biggest hill of the of this uh, of this hike yeah so <coughs> it wasn't bad day today I've done 20 plus miles but the challenge was that the surface was very hard half of the walk was on tarmac or stones the rest was on something like that but I can't complain when I stopped for lunch I noticed about 10 ticks feasting on my calves I wonder how many left after second day I'm almost halfway half standard way so it's quite possible that I'll finish the whole walk in five days what would be quite an achievement for me I'm not a super hiker I'm trying to keep things real and I'm aware that I'm middle-aged fat man uh, so doing about 20 miles a day something arrived